Hey, I'm going to show you how to put together a little collage of images that represent you in terms of what you would want to have the rest of the world see when you go about creating your digital self. What kind of things would you put out there in the world that you'd be okay being like, yeah, this represents who I am. If someone just saw a small part of me and they saw these things, that'd be okay with me. That represents who I am. And the pictures you can choose can really be limited to anything you want. You can pick pictures off the internet of sports you like, or bands you like, or music you like, or movies you like, or books you like. You could pick websites that you like. If you're a huge YouTube fan, that'd be great. If you like Instagram, the logo for that would be great. You could also do pictures of yourself. You can use pictures that you have if you have a way to get to those. Any sort of visual representation of who you are and who you want the world to see when you are as a digital self, you can put those in there. So I'm going to show you one way to put this collage together. There's a lot of great tools for creating collages online. I'm going to show you one. And then if you want to use that, do my route. If you want to use something else, we can make that work too. Just talk to me about it. So we're going to use something called Adobe Spark. So I'm just going to search the term Spark in Google. And then I find Spark. And then I'm going to log in up here. When I go to log in, I'm going to hit log in with school account. You already have a school account because you have an Adobe account through school. So I'm going to enter my school. My school, yours is first.last at studentssd.org. Mine is a little different. And when you get here, you're going to click Enterprise ID. Click that, and you're going to be logged into Spark. Now, Spark's really cool because you can create lots of different visual content for a variety of different purposes. However, what we're going to be working on is a collage. So we'll hit this little blue plus icon, and then we'll hit collage. Now it gives us a default collage. It's all set up. First thing I might do is mess with the layout a little bit. I'm not sure I want this text here, so I'm going to delete it by just clicking and hitting delete. Now I can go around and play with some different layouts here. Man, what's going to look good? I'm going to try maybe something like this, and I can always change it later. Now I'm going to add some pictures. So I'm going to add a photo. Now, what I could do is find free photos. Maybe I really like Kauai, the island in Hawaii. So now I found this really cool island in Hawaii, uh, Kauai. I got this picture. I can use that. And then that's going to insert it in there. OK, that'll work. But I could also upload photos. So I could go to Google Images, look up photos that I want, like I don't know, this Google logo, if I'm really into Google, right click, save image as, and then save it. But I could also download images from other sources too. And if I have images on my computer, the way I would do this is go to add photo, upload a photo, and then browse for it. So I'm going to go browse, and I found a picture of me mountain biking. I like this picture. I think it's a kind of cool picture. And I can click and drag it and reposition it inside the frame. That works. And I'm going to go keep going through and just adding all the pictures. When I'm done, I'm going to hit Share. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click Link. And I'm going to have this link. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to Canvas. And that's where I'm going to turn in my representation of who I want to be as my digital self. All right, have fun.